Hi, I'm Deb Sturgeon, and today I'd like to share How the Stinky Cheese Man and Other Fairly Stupid Tales by John Shinska and Lane Smith demonstrates how typography is an important element in picture books. So in chapter five of Lambert's Reading Picture Books with Children, they talk about how the print is part of the art and the story. Typography is the design and arrangement of the words. The written word on a page visually represents the oral speech. So, how the words are written dictate how we read them aloud. The tone of voice and the meaning are embedded in typography. So let's take a look at some examples. In the story of the little red hen, her words are always in red, bold, and Sanskrit. And when I first thought about it, I'm like, well, that makes sense because the little red hen is red, so her words are red. However, when I pointed this out to my son, he said, well, it's because she's angry. And of course, that's how we're supposed to be reading her words. I planted the wheat, I watered the wheat, I harvest the wheat, and so on. It, it, just makes you want to say it in a harsh tone because she's angry. And if we move on to the story of Jack and the giant, so Jack's words are always written in this kind of type, but the giant's words are always capital, very large, and Jack even points it out. He says, could you please stop talking in uppercase letters? It really messes up the page type of thing. And so not only is it part of the actual story, it's part of the art. And if you look here, the giant, he made his own story by cutting up other books. And you can just tell without even reading the words that this story was made up of different stories um, simply because of the type. So it says, the end of the evil stepmother said, I'll huff and snuff, and so on. And then when you get to this story, without even reading the story, you can tell visually that it just kind of goes on forever and ever and ever. And it does. It's a circle story that does not have an ending. And also, by the time you get down here, you're wanting to whisper it because you're putting the giant to sleep. So as the words get smaller, your voice gets smaller. So I encourage you to look at the typography in picture books and see how it enhances not just the art, but also the story. Thank you.